Hey y'all, welcome back to the homestead. Y'all, I have recently discovered something miraculous that you can do with zucchini. I had no idea. Okay, so first I'm gonna give you a little backstory. So back in July, I had a normal doctor's appointment or whatever, but I had some blood work that came back that said that my blood sugar's been running a little bit too high. And so I knew that it was time to start cutting carbs and living a little bit more healthy lifestyle. So I've been doing good. I've increased my protein. I've done all the things I'm supposed to do. But one thing I have missed so much is bread. I never thought the answer to my problem would be zucchini. This is pretty much the easiest low carb recipe that I have seen. And it's one of my favorites because it's turning out to be really versatile. So I can make this little bread. You make it in the microwave, so it's like a mug cake kind of. And it's I can use it for sandwiches. I can use it for um, burgers. It's done really, really well as a bun for my burger. So it's, it's really helping me. I think it's really gonna help me stick to this low carb lifestyle. So obviously you wanna start with dried zucchini. And I freeze dry it. There are instructions out on the World Wide Web about how to do it with your oven or with a dehydrator. If you want me to try drying it in the oven or the, the dehydrator, go ahead and drop me a comment and we'll, uh, we'll give that a shot to see how it works. You can also get dried zucchini, I think, on Amazon. So that might be an option. Okay, mixing this up is so easy. Turning it into flour was actually the hardest part of this. So the base recipe, and this is not my recipe, so I will link it down below. The base recipe is going to be one tablespoon of butter, one egg, and a quarter of a teaspoon of baking powder and one tablespoon of zucchini flour. First thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna get this tablespoon of butter. And it's pretty important that you don't go over, for the bread recipe, you don't wanna go over that tablespoon because it does make it a little weird texture-wise. Once that's melted, we're gonna add an egg. And then we're just gonna mix that up really good. So once that's mixed, I'd like to go ahead and add this quarter of a teaspoon of bacon powder. Beat that in there as well. And then we're just going to add a tablespoon of flour. We're going to mix it good, but then we're going to let it sit for a minute. We'll mix it again before we put it into the microwave. And I'm going to be making a bigger one too because I am going to see if my kids will eat this. This size bowl makes the perfect hamburger bun. Okay. 
Now we're just going to cook this in the microwave for 60 seconds. So while I'm waking up, waiting on those, I want to show you another recipe that I've kind of developed from this one. And this is going to be our dessert. This is definitely a treat recipe, but it's still pretty low carb. Okay, for this one, we're going to start the same way with melted butter. Then I'm going to add, I don't know, about a tablespoon of cocoa powder. And I'm going to be using this allulose, and it's liquid allulose. You could use probably erythritol or um, swerve. It, I get whatever you use for your low-carb low sweetener. And we're going to do the same thing here. Now, allulose is only 70% as sweet as sugar, so this is not going to be an overly sweet dessert. And I'm told that allulose is keto-friendly. the same ratios and the same cooking method. Okay, so this is our finished bread. Oops. And it should come out pretty easy. The first time I made this I actually sprayed the mug that I was using and I do not recommend doing that. It came out pretty soggy. And I just take this and cut it right down the middle. And that's what we got inside. Y'all, this is so good. This has given me bread back and it, I was so excited to find this recipe. I'm gonna turn this into turkey sandwich. You know, I'm not afraid of mayonnaise. Normally I would slap some mayonnaise on it, but I don't actually have any. I don't know how I ran out. So this is just going to be a very green sandwich today with avocado and the zucchini bread. Okay, so this is done and you'll know it's kind of like, just like a regular cake when it's not gooey anymore on the top. Then it's done. And this is what's really gonna make it a lot sweeter. I like it just fine with just the allulose, but if you need something sweeter, this is a keto hazelnut spread. And then if you want to, I'll sprinkle that other half a tablespoon of chocolate chips on top. What you think? I don't think so. No, 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 no. I don't think so. No. That one's really good. Is it good? Yeah, I'm gonna taste the second one now. So here's what the sandwich looks like. Let's see what we think. That's good. It's really good. Obviously, it's not real bread, but it's closer than any of the egg flatbreads that I've tried. This makes me happy. And now for round two, we have dessert. I actually put some pecans on top of mine because I like the nutty flavor. So, there's what the inside looks like. Really good. It's so good. It can't possibly. 
It can't possibly be healthy. I don't actually know the carb count for this. I'm not counting carbs, but I am trying to avoid most carbs and definitely things like bread, cake, anything with processed sugar in it. So with my super duper serious sweet tooth, this has been a godsend. As always, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching.